Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Serendipity by Melanie. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of um, a $90 lot with china in it, dishes, and then I'm going to do another chalkware. So we'll get right into it. When I was doing the bidding, this fridge dish, butter dish, is the reason I bought it. EAPG is my guess. I'm not sure. I've just heard the terminology. And this is quite large. It's... The butter dish would only come to about here with a one pound of butter in it. So if I'm wrong, please correct me on that. And then there was this. Oh. Not sure, it looks like a gentleman with a long beard. It's about eight inch in diameter. The frame itself, oh, it's an owl. Look at that. The frame itself is plastic, but it does have the paper backing. So it is an owl. No, mm, not sure. <laughs> Once I clean it up, it might be easier. And there's a few pieces, too, of these metal plates that I could see serving platters. And they are scuffed quite badly. And the back has USA stamped on it down here. And I would imagine they're about 12 inch, a little more, 14. There's one lady on YouTube that's been finding a certain brand of these metal bolt plates. Anything metal could be a bowl or... And they do go for quite good money. And uh, I was just wondering if those were it. Because when you're bidding from the pictures, it does get a little difficult. So I'm moving all around. Here's the rest of this box. And... I just sold something similar to this on my Poshmark, the Royal F Alfred Menken something England, so I'll show you the back. Maybe I just have to trim my lighting just a little bit more. Not working for me. And this is a plate that says Chicago with Union Station and the Buckingham Fountain. There are no markings on the back. But that's a nice like, light pink color. And this is the provinces and territories of Canada. The colors are nice. Manufactured for Coast Craft Copyright Design by Royal Winton in England. And there's the back. Sorry, a little dusty. So we have a doily here. Just probably 8, 10 inch. <clears throat> Oh, these are pretty. The creamer has quite a bit of damage to it, but that's a nice set. Like the colors. Just dumping it out a little bit. Royal Albert Bone China, Silver Birch England. So there's the sugar dish. So I'll dump out the bumblebee. And like I say, lots of damage on the creamer here. But people do break the china apart and make jewelry and different... Sorry. I'm just wiping my hands here. This was inside the creamer and the handle is broken. It is just a miniature. Not sure what to use that for. Mm. 
another teacup and saucer. Melba Bone China, guaranteed, made in England, fine grade. Oh, this is cute. Just pink, striped, plain. Um, mm. Maybe you can make it out. Everyone was asking me to hold it a little longer once I got it in focus. Just the dust along with it. I don't know if there's a saucer to that. I don't see one. Wow, is this ever large? I'm just removing the gifts that came along with it. So inside it's got a floral pattern. Nice pink cherry blossom maybe. I haven't even looked at it. I'm just guessing. And on the bottom it's just etched. And it says made in England. I'm just looking to see if there's a saucer that goes with it. And there doesn't seem to be. That's big enough for two, three cups of tea. <laughs> just a few little short uh, saucers here. This one. Prairie Floral em em Emblem sorry, of Manitoba. So that is one of the provinces two over from where these items were bought. This is the province of Saskatchewan, which is right next door to Alberta where the items were bought. Royal Grafton Fine Bone Made in England. I'm just looking to see if I can identify the flower here. The the little forget-me-nots, I think, are in there. And it looks different colors only because probably my finger is rubbed up against it. And it says par Paragon. And this one just has a few dots on it, and they're in green. Stanley, Fine Bone China, England, established in 1875 or 1878. I think it's a five. So the rest of it is just um, a plain glass. A cream and a sugar. There's a chip in the sugar. Um, this is where I need both hands. And it's just probably EAPG. Here's a a coffee or a teacup that goes with that set. This seems to be like a salad plate that goes with it. On the back you can see the rings dimension if you can hear that. And then two saucers. little bit of roughness on the salad plate I felt on the edge and this I assume is just another sugar bowl another chip on the end there just two made in Hong Kong pieces 
I would imagine these are canister tops because on the side it does have the air vents right here. I'm guessing that's what they're for. And here's another sugar dish, double handle, no lid. Here's a shaker. And oil and vinegar. There is no stopper. These are the last two items in the box. And they are about four and a half, five inch high. No markings on the bottom, but they are a heavier glass. I don't believe them to be crystal at all, just a heavier piece. I'm just going to take a snoop for the next box to see what I paid for it. And so this box is $90 for the chalkware. Let's get into it. Ah, maybe. Okay, I got the lid. So all I could see is one and a half of these. So the couple. I couldn't see her. All I could see were her feet, hoping that it would be a pair. And they both have the hangers. And I'll just take, oh, she does, she lost one of her hat flips there. What words I make up is just unreal. I don't see a date on it or a maker probably be easier to put it on the male figure because he has more thickness to the edge but I don't see anything so that's all I could see in this lot of $90 it did look like there was a couple layers and it looks like there's three layers oh my goodness oh that's so cute and look at the hooks on the bottom you can hang from it Damage done, but oh my goodness, that's cute. S side eye look. And I'm hoping this is a pair to it. <laughs> Sorry, I get carried away. Side eye look, she's so adorable. Look at her hair. Just and the hook is up here. She's in, in better condition than he is. Chocolate, what can I say? Oh, goodness. Look at the color on that. It's like opal, the pink. Wow. There is a hook on the back. A few chippies. And it does say favor IND. Wow. Beautiful. So hopefully there's a match to that somewhere. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at her. She's also got the hooks on the bottom. I love it. Little bit of a chipping here. Oh my goodness, the baskets. Another favor wear original made in Canada. That's great. So here's a piece of something here, and I'll match that up later. Maybe that, yeah, that belongs to the lady that was missing part of her hat. Oh, there is a set. Look at that. How great. A little bit of paint loss. 
Very nice. And then there's one more piece in this box. Oh no. Oh no. And it's the horse. Oh. I know that it can be repaired, but it's just not the same. For me, this is the horse jumping and the dogs. So is this a hunt that they're going on? Very nice. Okay, that one hurts my heart. That's everything in that box. And look, we're only at 15 minutes. So let me look around and I will grab a handful <laughs> of ephemera that is packed very tightly in this box. So this box, <laughs> that was tight. I can find the price for this box because I know that when I seen the top of it, this is the item that I seen <clears throat> that I was looking at when I was buying it. And it's Night Classics. Hmm. Thick cardstock. It's quite a size. It's like legal size paper. New York Galaxy, grade one supplementary volume. And I don't see a date, but these, I love this. If you haven't, if I haven't said it enough, <laughs> that's great. So, Kingly Classic. Just give me another second here and I'll see. No, but this is just like a f very few out of this box. There must be 50 in the box, and I grabbed maybe 10. No, there must be 60 or more. Old English Worthies. Somebody's name is on top. Thick cardstock. Legal size. Price a dollar twenty in Canada. Copyright nineteen seventeen by Renthrop Rogers Limited. That is on the bottom corner here. It says piano solo. This one is piano literature of the 17th, 18th, and 19th century, Mozart, Beethoven, copyright 1956, and the cover. <coughs> Classic sonatas. Started out at $1.50, went down to $0.75, cents, and the last price handwritten is $0.25. Cents. Copyright MCM LXV as in Victor. I'll let you Google that. And just more musical notes. And here's one that was in red and the exact same one for intermediate. The red one is for advanced and this one is for intermediate. So exact same, just a different color. 
early classics for the piano selected and edited by Alfred Mirovich, New York. Lots of writing on the front. April 29, 1992 is written there. Pardon me, I'm just looking for... MCMLIV for the for the date. These pages are a little more yellow and yellow than the other ones. Chester Library. It's just a single thicker card stock, not, not, it's a medium. It says 16 years and older, maybe. I'm not sure if that's the word older. Classic albums. Price is 60 cents. Copyright MCMXVII. The thicker card stock. Again, a little yellowing to the pages. And this looks to be the same book. The first one was intermediate. This one is for lower intermediate. Contemporaries of Purcell, P-U-R-C-E-L-L. -L. I'm just looking for a date. And I don't see one off the bat. This is legal size, wider than a normal sheet of paper. Henry Perkel, nine, or 1658 to 1695. And then it has John Blow, 19... Pardon me, 1648 to 1708. Those look like dates. And then again, here's a song, Sarah Band. So that's what I'll finish off with today. Thanks for spending time with me. And just a quick question, what's in your pocket? Comment below. If there's other things that you can suggest, I know the lighting isn't perfect, but I am. It is snowing and there's a bit of a storm, so videos get up a little late because I'm on satellite. And satellite isn't as fast as when you're living in a city. But I am enjoying this. Really grateful to be able to unbox them and take a look at everything. It's just up my alley and I'm enjoying it immensely. Thank you for lifting me up and have a great day. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.